Number 1. Nana's Restaurant. Durham has lately gained a reputation for being a foodie's heaven. Nana's is the absolute cream of the crop. It opened in 1992, well before the city's restaurant renaissance. Since then they've been experimenting with flavors and ingredients in some very exciting ways. Their menus change monthly, and guests always have the option of their tasting menu. Number 2. The Fearington House. Just outside of the Triangle and therefore convenient for anyone in Raleigh, Durham, or Chapel Hill, the Fearington House restaurant has been ranked among the top restaurants in the country on numerous counts. Their chef is committed to keeping the menu new and exciting. So, you'll never see repeats no matter how many times you come back. Number 3. Biltmore Estate. The Biltmore isn't just an attraction for its beautiful architecture, gorgeous location, or status as the largest privately owned house in the United States. It also has an award-winning restaurant. Going to the dining room at the Biltmore Estate offers a brilliant chance to dress up and feel like you're a part of the surroundings. Number 4. Herons at the Umstead. The Umstead, a spa hotel just outside the capital city of Raleigh, is known for its luxury across the state. Herons is the culinary expression of this luxury. They've received accolades from numerous publications, speaking to their quality. Their menus change seasonally, and you'll find different options for breakfast, brunch, lunch, and dinner. Number 5. The Gamekeeper. A mountain culinary gem, Gamekeeper Restaurant has been open in its current form since 2000. This was when its current owners bought the restaurant and turned it into what it is today. They take full advantage of what their location has to offer. They make use of all sorts of local, organic ingredients in their ever-changing and always exhilarating menu. Number 6. Sanitary Restaurant. Sanitary Fish Market and Restaurant has a laid-back, casual atmosphere that doesn't exactly scream gourmet. However, they've become a true North Carolina institution and there's no better place to get fresh seafood on the entire coast. Almost as soon as you've taken your seat, they'll bring you a bowl of fresh, hot hush puppies to pique your appetite. Never fear, they'll give you more if you run out. Number 7. Artisanal Restaurant. The manager and owner, a husband and wife pair, opened Artisanal Restaurant in 2006 and have put all of their passion for the business and tireless work ethic into running it ever since. The chef had his training in New York City, and his experience is evident in the range of options he puts on the table back in Banner Elk, North Carolina. Number 8. Chef and the Farmer. The tiny town of Kinston, North Carolina may seem like an unlikely place to house a world-class restaurant. But, that's exactly where the owners of Chef and the Farmer decided to put down their roots. Driven by a desire to highlight what this poor and oft-ignored region of North Carolina has to offer, they partner with all sorts of farmers in the area. Number 9. Curate. This Spanish tapas bar opened in 2010. It's been gaining recognition across the state ever since as a top-notch dining experience in terms of both atmosphere and food. One of Curate's chefs is even in the running for best chef in the southeast, and you won't be surprised when you try a couple of their dishes. Number 10. Lantern. Lantern has garnered national recognition for its dedication to local ingredients, its commitment to using green energy, and the exceptional high quality of the food. Located on Chapel Hill's Main Street, Lantern may appear to blend in with the rest of restaurants, but not once you try the food. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.